got this shop I can remember. And in the village there was the Midland Bank at the end by the Royal, by the Royal Hotel. And then there was the butcher shop. It had been changed down a few times. There used to be Jimmy's. The last one, last one who closed it was a chap from Warrington. And he bought it off Eric, Mur Eric Mullis. Mullis yeah. Yeah. And before Eric Mullis, it was Jimmy Smith. Yeah. And, he before that. and before that, it was Walkers. Walkers. And uh, next door, the earliest I can remember, I never can remember, I don't know, because I must have only been five or six at the most. And it was an old, a, a, a topper shop. And Miss, I think her name was Miss Rainford. And she had ginger there. And when she used to walk up into the shop, yeah. she used to like, do I like she was on both her skates? <laughs> and there was mice. And she used to have parking. Um, you know, in these, uh, uh, railway stations, yeah. they used to, in the restaurant, no, not the restaurant, the, uh, where you could buy a sandwich and a couple the, of things. cafes. And they used to have a glass dome over it. Right. Well, she used to have them over there, parking, she'd sell parking. Parking kit. Uh, I, I always remember that same, the same pictures in that shop. Yeah. After, after I think it was George Porter. George Porter, yeah. And he that, was that was Brian Porter's dad. He was a printer, and then from printing he got on to used to charge batteries, accumulators, and sixpence to have it done. Have it the accumulators. For the old wireless, yeah. Wasn't it? And uh, after that, um, oh, what was his name? Esketh. Bill Esketh had it. Esketh had it after that. And after Bill Esketh, it, it went to Frank Dobson. Frank Dobson had it after that. And know. the fittings in that shop were the same then as they were when Miss Rainford had it. Yeah. I always remember. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Rainford used to have these funny glass, fancy glass uh, uh, bottles, you know, yeah. funny shaped bottles. I always remember it. Yeah, like growing rhubarb. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but didn't, didn't uh, when when she had it, she had it in the post office part of at one time. Just oh, that's going, that's that going that's going back a bit further on. That's a bit further back. That was it? Dutton's. Uh, they used to have one part for vegetables and where the cycle shop is now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, used to sell. Uh, she used to sell newspapers because yeah. she used to buy some. Uh, well, not some. She didn't have some papers. She used to buy her evening papers off me because she did, did sell a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then next door to that, uh, before that it used to, uh, well, I, I don't remember it, but there used to be a post office there. Yeah, just for a short yeah. while. Yeah. And then you, you came from there, the, the gap, Yeah. and then you got the, it was trays, I don't even remember. Chap I think there were Jewish people, the trade used to sell uh, clothing, the, the ladies oh, stuff. I don't remember that one, but yeah. you will. Yeah, <laughs> trays. Tell you where they used to live. In old coming down school lane, the first, when you t go under the two bridges, then you turn left to the uh, Warper's Mouth. Yeah. The house, the detached house on the corner. There. On the corner? And they used to live there, oh. trays, you yeah. know. And there was a doctor trip. And I think. Jackie, isn't it? it was a barber shop there at one time. And it were, that's where the yeah. chemist is and now. Jackie, hadn't he'd been in barber. He was there, and where the post office is now, oh, he, he was, was there. there yeah. And over the bridge. Yeah, and that was his last shop, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, who was it after that? Uh, it would be the cake shop after that, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, it was Sanford's. Sanford's yeah. and Desi You remember the Sanford's getting, I on, do. getting yeah. on fire? Aye. Big house, yeah. Jack Horrock used to work there. That's right. Little Sandy, I think he, I think he was, it was Foster, Mr. Foster at it. Uh, Don't remember him. Yeah, uh, Foster, he, he was the, the boss of White Sanford before. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
and his wife's brother, little Sandy, he was the baker there with Jack Horrid. Oh, that's yeah. right, yeah, yeah. Uh, and who, do, who, who was it after that? De Desiree took it over after that. Ah, Desiree. Yeah. They had a, uh, they had the news in you know, to, yeah, in they, Church Street. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, but they used to make some lovely cakes and oh, stuff yeah, there. Yeah. They were lovely. Ted used to make the nicest cakes. Swifts in Home Street. In Home Street. Oh, yeah. Swifts. Yeah. 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 I used, when I was courting down, I used to go for my tea down. They lived in Market Road, just next to the Curtis at the bank. And their mother always used to get me a rum baba. Oh! <laughs> 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 they had rum babas. I, I, I have had them, yeah. yeah. Mother but, used to make them occasionally. Oh, it's good, good then. Uh, where did we get to then after that? Well, we got to Irwin's, so it was Irwin's yeah. after that, wasn't yeah. it? Irwin's shop. Yeah, Irwin's in there. Jewish the butchers, no, Jewish the butchers, that was Jewish, didn't it? Uh, then there was two houses. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dick Harrison, yeah. who worked for Jimmy Smith, uh -huh. and next door to them, they used to call him Dimson, but his name was Harrison. And they had one son, I never remembered the mother. And George, his name was George. And I tell you why I can remember him. He was always interested in wagons going past. Mm -hmm. And he finished up a major in the army. Mm -hmm. But he went on the battle and the known story that goes back all about that. It take ages to tell you. Yeah. And uh, where did we get to then? We're up to the two houses. How long did they yeah. stay as houses then? Too? Well, them two houses. I remember him coming to see me. I was only a young. I've always been a young, young for my age, you know. Oh, you're still there. And uh, he said to me, uh, "I'm going to sell these two houses right now. You can have them both." Well, I had nobody to guide me. I had no uncles around. Like, if it had known now, they'd have said, "Get some money from the bank." Take a bank loan, like what it got you paying in rental, pay for it more. Okay. Yeah. But I thought, oh, it's a big, big thing to do that. I never bought them, and they, who, who bought them? I'll tell you who bought them. Remember Dick Oldcroft? Yes. Well, Dick Oldcroft, I think his, his mother had the money, yeah. and she bought them, and they made it into a shop, and on Nearest to my workshop was, yeah. uh, she used to live, yeah. old Mrs. Oldcroft. Yeah. Her little old buddy. She used to throw all her rubbish. When wagons were going past in the morning, she used to throw her rubbish out in the road. <laughs> to Let it draft away. Yeah. <laughs> and Dick and uh, his wife lived there, uh, on, on the other side. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, it would say, was it Trustees Bank first? And then it, it went to Trustees Bank, to TSB Homescape, didn't yeah. it? I don't know if that was before, or well, it must have been before, yeah. and then it was there, uh, and then they sold out to uh, uh, Tarleton, what's the name, Webster's. Webster's and Tarleton, Webster's, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. And then it, I, th I, don't, I don't know what I'm getting a bit mixed up with, it was Trustees, the, the last one. The Trustees uh, came... I don't know whether trustees came before. Anyway, trustees after Trustees on that side. Trustees yeah. on that side would be after Webster's. Yeah. Because they were on the other side first, next to Ronnie Walton's, weren't they? What? The Savings Bank. No, that was William. That was uh, Armstrong. Yeah. TSB Armstrong. No, I won that. It was, it was something before that. It was, yeah. District Bank. District Bank. Most of them were Before Bursting. that, on the other side we were talking about, it, it, it had been Webster's, yeah. it had been uh, from Tarleton, yeah. it had been Old Cross, yeah. and it had been the Trustees Bank. Yeah. And then it finished up as a uh, betting. It's finished up now as this betting. Betting shop, yeah. 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 And then after that, uh, there was the, the block where my shop was on, yeah, the, corner, on the corner. And Ankin's on that. Yeah. And 
it was one shop on the corner, yeah. a drapery shop. And that was Miss Drankin. Miss Stan, oh, Jack, Stan and Fred's dad. Yeah. Jack and Stan. Yeah. And J.S. Ankin, John Stanley. Yeah. And I'm sure uh, that uh, Stan, the son, yeah. his name was John Stanley Ankin. He was John Stanley. And he um, never got called up in the army. And then Fred well, did. Yeah, and Fred, Fred, Fred Ankin was in the army. Aye. Well, Fred, he, he used to work at the advertiser office. Okay. He was at the advertiser yeah. office for and quite a came, long while. Yeah, and then he came. When he came back out with Yeah. yeah. Well, what happened, they packed up with the drapery shop mm. and they made, I don't think they were in, in, in good financial position, yeah. and they made the, the shop into, t into two, yeah. and where they had lived, they made the downstairs was the room. Shop. Well, they moved the drapery shop to there, oh. uh, and they, then they changed the butchers from drapery. Yeah, from drapery to butchers. Yeah. Cause that's quite a change. That's, that's quite from, a change. And from drapery, <laughs> they used to go around in the van stand, uh, telling drapery. Yeah. And uh, after, after the drapery, oh, then it was altered. And the, my shop came empty, yeah. and my dad took that on. Next door was Boardman's, That's Albert right. Boardman. Yeah. And that was still drapery. That was drapery. Still, wasn't it? Yeah. And his sister, and his wife, Sissy, do you remember, uh, what was his name? Tommy Ashcroft and Bill Ashcroft. Yes. Well, Tom Ashcroft had the paint shop over the bridge. Yeah. And Bill had the he used to work for Sturgis, the tailors. Uh, yeah, that was over the road, wasn't it? Yeah. And from, from, from doing that, working, and they got in a poor way, I think, Sturgis. Sturgis, yeah, back up. Yeah. And he started mining timber, of all things, down Victoria Street. Down Victoria Street. But they were always noted for Low Mountain. Yeah. And I used to go in to see old, old, Billy down Victoria Street had this mining timber. And then uh, he used to go for a chat there. Uh, he'd been busy, Bill. And he wants to call you lad. Hey, lad, he said, I'll be I've just been, I've just bought, I've just bought a, a wood. Yeah. He'd bought a tree. <laughs> and Tommy, his brother, he had this shop over the bridge. In Paddy buildings, yeah. and uh, I used to go over there. <laughs> so where are you going? I'm just going to have a chat with Tommy. And you go in and perhaps want to tip the paint something. They say, uh, "Have we got such a Tom?" I just come at the right time now. Well, it's only that one room on the little tiny square at back where he had a couple of tip. <laughs> he said. Um, you know, just, I might be exaggerating this out there, I'll just tell the wagon load, uh, 2,000 tins of white. <laughs> yeah. and just, this was Walpamer. Well, he couldn't get, <laughs> couldn't get a dozen tins now, mind He said, I'm helping them to unload. He said, hey, 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 what about them six tins in the shop corner? Oh, he said, those are Mr. Boardman's. That was his, his, his sister's husband. husband yeah. As much as that, Boardman, like, he, he could only sell half a dozen. I'm getting two tapes. I'm getting two. I'm I'm getting and I remember like Billy's would go, and you remember Billy's down in chip shop? Oh, I really, yeah. And Bill, yeah. Bill went over for a dustbin. A real dustbin, Tom. They all knew him. Yeah, they're, they're just too late. Edge could have just took last six. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, was that a good time? Tell you what he used to do. He, they reckon he, he got in trouble with it once. If you went for any paint and they hadn't got it in, you say, go to my shop on on, on uh, East Bank Street. There were Astros there. Uh -huh. had nothing to do with it. Tell them what I sent you. Pa my, my men have just been painting it. They're, they're down there, you know. And you go, just a low man for, for no reason. 
Well, his daughter, uh, she was brought up with, you know the, that bungalow by the monument? Yes. But, uh, gee, what was it, who was it that had it? Well, it was her, her auntie, and they used to live down Mill Lane. And they brought the do this daughter up, and she married Francis Enske. Oh. A really attractive person, you know. Above the birth of people, actually. <laughs> I used to go out with the, the, the army officer who I had not to. Anyway, um, she married Francis Enske, and, uh, and Francis, you know, he used to. He was a bit, bit a lump of the work women. Remember Leo Stockard? Aye. Used to be cashier at at uh, cinema in Nomscript. Not, not there, what was it, the other? The Regal. Regal. Yes. She worked there. Yeah. Uh, she was another one that used to thought, think herself a bit, but next to lo local lads. Yeah. Oh no. Always wanting something uh, better. And uh, I think she had three or four children with her, Francis Jensen. Mm -hmm. mm. And his wife, uh, I think she went to live in Ireland. They lived in a house in, in Top of Park, all those, somewhere around that area. Oh, oh I had the words. Because there's one of the ends, because she still lived um, down Park, old. Or is it um, no. a bit closer than that? I, don't I don't know, I might be wrong. But I have a feeling that Francis Enske went to live in a home. Uh -huh. and, and I don't know what happened to that. Right, there used to be, there used to be uh, John Enske, there were about four lads, and the youngest one, he used to come in the shop on a Sunday morning with the papers, uh, the Catholics. Yeah. And I remember it was in, we used to go to Southport and do Enske. And we had our tea in the palace, it was not the palace, cinema there anyway, they had the restaurant. And uh, we'd have our tea and then go to this, the cinema like after. And he came in this day, Wednesday afternoon. And I knew he used to always have a bit of fun with him, right? And he said, Can I sit with you? Mm -hmm. Can you? Yeah, you can sit with you. <laughs> and he used to sit like, He said, I've just been to the auction. And they own that field down Junction Lane, where all that big estate is now. Uh, you know, the, uh, on the bit, left. On yeah, the, left the big side. estate opposite yeah. the ambulance station. Yeah. And they stole that field. I always remember they used to say that Jack Bob do you remember Jack Bob oh, He yeah. used to farm it. But the story used to go that he'd borrowed that much money off his wife's parents from Orton, mm -hmm. but he couldn't get any more, and it was up for sale. And he'd been to this auction in Liverpool, and it had been sold, oh, it was only about 500,000 or something like that, which mm. was nothing them days. Mm. I don't think it could have been that. Today, must to buy it, it would have been, oh. been millions. It would be ridiculous uh, today, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, when when you got past your shop, going back into the village, yeah. and opposite your shop, we went down to Billy Eastwood's chip shop. What yeah. was on the corner there? On the corner, it used to be Dick Horrocks, Cobbler. Cobbler. It, that it, was Dick Horrocks. Old Dick Horrocks. Yeah, yeah. I was a little lad going in one day, <coughs> very shoes. Can you mend these, Mr. Rory? He said, what's to do with them? He said, they want stitching. He said, who, sh who mends them, lad? He said, my father. He said, well, tell the father to stitch them. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he had a, a, a motorbike. Now, them days, I like, had a motorbike, like, or something. And it was a Scott. Oh, nice one. Top of the range. Oh, it, was a, oh, it was one of the first ones, you know. Yeah. And he used to, his, his daughter used to live in Lincolnshire, 
and I've seen him get this old motorbike out and he used to wear one of these leather helmets. Pilot's helmet. Yes. <laughs> he used to get that and on the pillion he used to fasten whatever he was taking and he set off to put the Lincoln in it. On it, you know, it was, it was a something to be. Oh, I had to travel so far. Like when we, like we used to go to Blackpool every August Monday, yeah. and to go to Blackpool, used to set off about half past nine. Yeah. It was dinner time when you got to Blackpool. What were the roads like then? <laughs> you used to go on the share when you know, the, yeah. they had the old ones used. When it rained, you used to start at the back and pull it. <laughs> what, the camera's <laughs> old? <laughs> used to go to, that was a treat my father used to have, he used, he used to give us. He used to take my mother, miss, myself, and my auntie, and the, the daughter. And that was his treat he used to take to Blackpool. And old Dick used to get these coaches up, jumps on fish quicks. So. Right. And uh, he'd never, he'd never went, he never went, but he used to get two seats in every coach. For organising. For organising. Yeah. So like the three bus loads, he got six seats, but I don't know, it was half a crown to go, but he got the money instead of the, the seats. And uh, we got to Blackpool, I tell you, straight up about half past nine, we are getting home for dinner time and he got there. And we used to get out of the chamber. <laughs> and we always used to go behind the tower uh, to a cafe there. Yeah, yeah. And used to order the dinner, the tea. We could go from there to the tower and boot for the tower circus. Yeah. Come back and it was dinner time. Have our dinner and it was time to go to the circus. Yeah. Come back, have a walk along promenade. We set off for home and it was getting dip midnight when we got home. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dear. Yeah, but they were they were full happy days out, yeah. weren't they? I was. It, it, it always used to fascinate me, you know, the floor in the tower. Bounce. It's the stone floor. No, it used to go down. Yeah. And water used to come in. Oh. You didn't know that? No, no. No. The floor used to go down. Yeah. Like they, they used to have animals in, and like they used to put these cages around. Yeah. Uh, they used to have animals, and the final part of the show, they used to brush all the, and there'd be a chap brushing the floor, and then they'd sing. And all I remember, the water used to come in, and they used to keep brushing, and water kept coming in, and they eventually vanished underneath. He got where it was coming out. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, so when you think back, it was all these things that. But that was a. Uh, that was a, It was a big, big thing to go to Blackpool. Right? It was a big occasion. What Blackpool? It was right? a big occasion. Once a year, right? Well, you're done with you to Blackpool. Yeah. Now you know when when you listen to this and you see some of the old photographs that Michael has. Mm of the old coaches, yeah. uh, where they were open coaches and yeah. virtually solid rubber tyres oh. and all that, you know, it, it's... Well, uh, like you could go to South, them days, like to go to Southport, it was only, I think it was only eight pence return yeah. to Southport, like, like to, and that was a, an occasion to go to Southport, like... Oh yeah, like, <laughs> it, was a, it was a day yeah, out again, yeah, wasn't it? It was, that. Yeah. Like these days, I didn't think nothing about it. Well, I don't, some of them don't think like it's good enough to have a day out. Omskip Omskip Mark, it was a, that was a day, a day out, like, yeah. jump, sixpence, return, yeah. boat and single, <laughs> <laughs> jumps and fish wicks. Uh, you remember them jumps? I do, yeah. Uh, jump, yeah. Jumps and fish wicks. They were fish wicks I can remember, the jumps were virtually finishing. Ah, uh, uh, jumps and fish wicks. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to be 